<clears throat> Welcome back and we have an example on charge distribution. You can see a linear charge distribution. The charges are uniformly distributed and uh, we have five microcoulombs distributed over a length of 10 centimeters and we are asked to calculate how much charge do we find in a length of seven centimeters as you can see from zero to seven from somewhere over here maybe I want to calculate how much charge we find over here in a length of about seven centimeters so this is about seven centimeters and then we also need to calculate in the length of three centimeters from seven to ten over here somewhere okay I would advise you to try and solve this problem yourself first because this can it is pretty trivial okay so try to do it yourself and then I will solve it for you so pause the video and do it okay if you have solved it bravo we can now check you can check whether whatever you've done is the right answer the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna calculate what the charge density is the linear charge density you don't really need to calculate that but since we introduced charge density last time let's just go ahead and calculate charge density is defined as dq divided by dl or dx or whatever you want to call that but notice over here we're dealing with a uniform charge distribution and a uniform charge distribution means regardless of where I go the crowded must be the same crowdedness must be the same and therefore I don't really need to take a differential length over here and differential charge I could just take a macroscopic length so I might as well say this is delta Q divided by delta L I can do that because I'm dealing with a macroscopic quantity and I know that if I take five microcoulombs then it is distributed over a length it's distributed over a length of 10 centimeters and therefore our lambda is going to be 0.5 microcoulombs per centimeters that's our lambda once we know lambda we can calculate pretty easily how much charge is present from 0 to 7 centimeters because that's a length of 7 centimeters so we'll use the same formula again lambda is not we we'll not use dq we'll say delta q divided by delta l and this time we already know what lambda is so that gives us 0.5 that is equal to delta q and that's what I want to find out delta q divided by delta l is 7 centimeters so that's 7 and that gives us delta q equal to 7 times 0.5 that's 3.5 and the units are going to be just microcoulombs so it's going to be 3.5 microcoulombs there we have it all right now let's go and quickly solve the second problem in the second case I have to calculate the amount of charge present in in a length of 7 centimeter 10 centimeters that's over here and that is 3 centimeters so this distance is just 3 centimeters this if you have not solved this before by pausing now would be a right time to pause and solve this part at least yourself. I'm pretty sure that if you have followed me so far, you should be able to solve this. This is absolutely trivial. But I'm going to redo it. I'm going to do the same thing what I did before. It's going to be delta Q divided by delta L. And this time I again know what lambda is. Lambda is just 0 0.5. It doesn't matter where I choose, what delta Q and or what delta L I choose. I'm always going to have to find lambda to be 0 0.5. And this time delta L is going to be 3 centimeters so that tells us that delta Q is going to be 3 times 0 0.5 that's just 1.5 and the answer is again microcoulombs okay so we have delta Q equal to 3 uh, 1.5 microcoulombs there we have it and this is pretty trivial again <laughs> I keep on saying that over and over again but anyways the, another way you could have calculated what delta Q over here is is you could have just subtracted that from 5 because we know the total charge is 5 microcoulombs and out of that you remove 3.5 over here so the remaining must be just 1.5 right because these two guys add up to become 5 so this was a very easy problem because it was a uniform distribution and we were dealing with a constant value for lambda but now I have an even better problem in store for you and that is over here check this out we are now dealing with something very similar the total charge on a line is the same as before 5 microcoulomb and the length is the same 10 centimeters but notice a huge difference and the difference is it's a non-uniform charge distribution 
and the charge density is no longer a constant this is not constant this is changing this is non-uniform and therefore this is not a constant it changes with the value of x as you can see lambda is proportional to x and this is x is equal to zero so as you go along the direction lambda value increases crowdedness increases and that and that's what i've drawn over here you can see that and i and and a is some random constant i should have mentioned that in the problem but it's a constant okay and it's going to have some appropriate units so that lambda is micro coulombs per centimeters and x is going to be in centimeters so a will have the units of per centimeter i hope you can do that out yourself anyways we're just going to keep charge as micro coulombs and we're going to keep distance as centimeters so don't ever worry too much about the units at least in this problem okay so we're not really worry about the units okay all right so so what is going to be the amount of charge present now from zero to seven centimeters can i do the same thing as i did before can i say can i say lambda can i say lambda is equal to dq divided by dl and therefore it's the same as delta q divided by delta l can i do that and the answer is a big fat no you can't do that anymore so this won't work and the reason is lambda is changing but this is fine this is fine because we're dealing with very tiny values so if you take a very tiny value of dl then dq by dl will represent lambda at that point so it, it does matter where you choose your dl now or where you choose your tiny tiny section okay so how are we going to solve the problem so here's a step of step by step procedure to solve the problem the first step will always be to go to a random point at some random point over here okay which is it is at a distance of x so this is distance x and let's assume that that at that random point has a thickness and that thickness is dx you can think of this as a, as a very tiny increment in x notice if i want to talk about charges i need to take a very tiny section if i don't take a section i will not find a charge but the section has to be incredibly tiny because lambda otherwise will change over that section but now our section is an infinitesimal it's a mathematical quantity since it's an infinitesimal it's it's literally a point lambda at that point has to be the same now okay that's the mathematical way of dealing with this thanks thanks to newton and the amount of charge present over there let's call let's call it as dq i know things are getting crowded but please concentrate okay so we can now say that lambda is equal to dq divided by dx and notice lambda is a changing value so let's just substitute for lambda lambda is a times x and hence the amount of charge dq which is present in a very tiny section dx is equal to a x times dx and try to understand what this is telling us this is telling us that if you take a dx somewhere over here then x value will be smaller and the amount of charge present over there will be smaller however if you take the same d dx somewhere over here the x value will be large and therefore the dq over there will be large i hope that makes a lot of sense because of the charge distribution being non-uniform and everything so let's now calculate what the amount of charge is going to be from zero to seven centimeters and i'm pretty sure you can understand now we have to do an integral over here okay so let's do that let's go over here let's let's solve the first problem from zero to seven centimeters so we're going to calculate we're going to calculate the total charge as the integral of a x dx and we have to integrate from zero to seven centimeters so let's pull out that a which is a constant an integral of x dx it's a very easy integral it's just going to be x squared divided by two from zero to seven and if you put our limits you're going to have a times 49 divided by two minus one so just it's going to be a times 49 divided by two and since we are dealing with charges this will be micro coulombs we don't know the value of a yet but we will find that out don't worry similarly we're going to do the same thing for the second case we're going to calculate q and this time you have to integrate from 7 to 10 centimeters again ax dx and we pull out the a an integral of x is just going to be x squared divided by 2 but this time we're going to integrate from 7 to 10 centimeters and this time we have we have what okay we substitute the 10 we get 100 and we substitute 7 we get 49 
divided by 2 49 divided by 2 and that would be 8 times 51 divided by 2 and again this is going to be in microcoulombs and notice something amazing the last 3 centimeters or the corner the edge of 3 centimeters has a charge which is more than the first 7 centimeters and that's amazing and actually quite intuitive I hope <laughs> I don't know whether it's quite intuitive but anyways I think that should make a lot of sense now it's all because of the non-uniform charge distribution. I'm repeating this over and over again. I know, I hope it's not very annoying. If it is, very sorry for that. But I'm just trying to stress my point. So because this is, I think, this is, sometimes it get, tends to get very hard. Okay? All right, but we don't know what A is. So we need to calculate A. So we can calculate A this way. To calculate A, what we have to do now is calculate the charge f over the entire or the entire length and because that charge we know it is 5 microcoulomb so we just have to integrate this integrate this thing over here over the entire length from 0 10 centimeters and equate that to 5 microcoulombs we can do that now but we don't have to because in our problem we have integrated from 0 to 7 and we integrate from 7 to 10 so we know the charge from the first 7 centimeters we know the charge in the last 3 centimeters if, but if we add that the two charges we are supposed to get the total charge and that should be 5 microcoulombs right so I'm just going to add the two things and I'm going to say it has to be equal to 5 so a times 49 divided by 2 plus a times 51 divided by 2 that should give us 5 okay and this tells us that a times 100 by 2 so a times 50 is 5 and this gives us a to be 0.1 in whatever units I think it's a centimeter inverse units okay, let's put the units over here centimeter inverse so with this in mind we can now calculate what q q1 and q2 is well, Q1 is going to be, so Q1, that is the charge in the length of 7 centimeters, it was A times 49 by 2, if you are not mistaken. Yep, A times 49 divided by 2, that's what. So that's going to be A, 0.1, times 49 divided by 2. That's 4.9 divided by 2, and that's going to be, what is that? <laughs> 2.45 microcoulombs. Ta-da! There we have it. The so first 7 centimeters. This is in the first 7 centimeters. And Q2 is going to be 0 0.1 into 51 divided by 2. So that's 5.1 divided by 2 and that's that's the remaining amount of charge and that is uh, 2.55 microcoulomb that's the amount of charge remaining right 5 minus 2.4 is 2.45 is just this so this is in 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 the last three centimeters so this is how you can deal with uniform and non-uniform charge distributions I hope you're able to get some idea behind how you deal with uniform was easy but non-uniform charge distribution now okay so i will see you soon in my next video so stay tuned